Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make an elbow in Blender and the first thing you want to do is go into edit mode and once there you're going to want to switch the pivot point to active element and then we're going to select the two vertices that are farthest from the backside and hit F to bridge and then you're going to hit W to subdivide. And now we're going to select the middle vertice first and then the second vertice and hit S, X, 0 to straighten things out. And you're going to do the same thing for the other side. So S, Y, and then 0. And now that you see that it's at a 90 degree angle, we're going to hit Shift and then S to make the cruiser go to selected. So once there, we could delete the vertice and also switch the pivot point to 3D Cruiser. And the reason why I do this, because this is gonna be our pivot point for our rings that we're gonna be duplicating. And what I'm gonna do now is switch to Edge Select and then hold down Alt and then right click and then hit Shift and then D to duplicate it. And now I'm gonna hit R and then Z to rotate it at the Z axis. So I'm gonna snap this to 45 degrees. And right now I'm holding down control to kind of get that snapping going. So right now, 45, possibly gonna do 35 for the other two. 35. And what I'm doing now is I'm going to snap it at 10 degree increments. So 10 degrees, 10 degrees, and then maybe the last 10. You're going to want to do the same thing for here. Now that we got that done, we're going to hold down Alt again to select the rings and then hold down Shift and then Alt to se select a second set of rings. And we're going to hit W and bridge edge loops we're right here. And we're going to keep doing this for each one. So now that is done, you can see right now, it looks pretty good, but we got this like flat facing that's happening. Normally I'll hit tab and then hit A and then A again to select all and maybe hit spacebar to type in shade smooth and that usually get rid of things. And also you're going to want the normals to be auto smooth or else then you're gonna get some weird little effect going on right there. But yeah, I think uh, that should be all. Uh, thank you for watching and I hope this helps you out in your future projects.